This is Jay All Day, and you're listening to Cincinnati's Conscience. My only question to you is, are you turned on? I hope so. like right now it's now or never is this moment right now for entity or do you think you have time you still have more to give more to learn more you know oh yeah always always I think. man yeah. when it comes to uh, music man it's always a learning and growing mm-hmm. process I don't care how far you get into it like a lot of people may feel like they arrived Right. And they carry themselves in that fashion. So, you know what I mean? Carry yourself in the fashion that, you know what I mean, you could lose that deal at any man. time. Like, right. You know what I mean? Some man. people get lazy, man. And you got to keep moving. Even when you even when you get into the industry, you mm-hmm. just got to keep pushing like you ain't never got in there before. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, if the hunger goes, then what, ha- what do you have, you know? That right. You know, exactly. Right yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. Okay. Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, I'm not very impressed yeah. with a lot of the new commercial stuff coming out. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. no one's challenging these kids or these individuals to be more than just um, the neighborhood lyricist. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you guys have a responsibility. Mm-hmm. I, at least I feel the whole conscious part of Cincinnati's conscience is that you're obligated to give something. Right. Right. And even if it's a window into the bad, the negative, mm-hmm. that I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but tell people that's what you're doing. This isn't something that you should glamorize or aspire right. to be. Right. I'm showing you what's messed up mm-hmm. right. so that you can either fix it or require those who are responsible to fix it to fix it. Right. right. And I think the way that we're coming is we're trying to bring back the love of, of music, people appreciating the lyrics, people exactly. appreciating the groove, you know, feeling it. And I think it, it, it is going to be a challenge for us. And right. we are going to have the anthem of now or never because a lot of it is based on business. Right. And what can sell. There's a difference between hype music before you go to the club. Right. And then the music that you know is real. Exactly. So I guess I exactly. appreciate that and respect them for being I honest. I guess so. I could learn how to doogie. Teach me how yes. to doogie. Teach me how to doogie. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. (laughs) Well, you guys have music that engages people. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have a favorite? We were just kind of talking about that Mm -hmm. off the air. Um, I have a good friend in the booth with me, and he asked the question. I'm not going to introduce him because he doesn't want to necessarily be on the air. But (laughs) he did ask a great question. Do you guys have a favorite track? You guys make, you know, hundreds of tracks. Do you have a favorite? I kind of like like all my music, so okay. You know I can I mean? give you one. <laughs> Jump get live. We haven't come out with that yet. Okay. We've been okay. trying to like we were talked about earlier. We've been trying to beat approach. We didn't know approach was gonna be as big as it is. We didn't know it was gonna be as big as it was. So we've definitely been giving you know our fans and supporters what they want exactly. approach. Uh, but we we've got some stuff in the works. It's called Jump Get Live, and it's hot. So okay, it's shutting it down. oh, shutting it down. <laughs> so there's that Jump Get Live. So <laughs> shutting it down. Either way, yeah, I don't feel the exactly right. Y'all hear that soon though. <laughs>